we've just had our biggest ever resources and energy exports of over $420 billion. But then they reach for the lame excuse offered by Bowen and co that, oh, the old coal-fired power stations are unreliable. I mean, you've made the point that if coal is the problem, which could lead to the prospect of blackouts down the track, shouldn't the lights be going out in Japan, Korea, India and Vietnam who are relying on our coal and they've invested in new coal-fired power stations? Aren't we reaching the tipping point where the Albanese government is going to have to accept that its green ambitions and climate change policies are unachievable? Well, we are. It's just a matter of uh, how many knocks through the school yeah. of hard knocks uh, we'll have to take before uh, some of the fools here in Canberra wake up to themselves. Uh, you're absolutely right that uh, uh, it's not coal-fired power stations that are unreliable. It is old coal-fired power stations like that are cars. unreliable. Yeah. Old cars, yeah. old machines, old, <laughs> old fridges machines. tend yep. to sometimes break down. Yeah. And you, you, you every need, need again, in now and again, need to update and refresh machines. But our problem, and we were guilty of this as a government, that over the past 10 years, uh, we've lost about four gigawatts of coal-fired power stations. That has been replaced by only one gigawatts of primarily gas, uh, reliable, dispatchable power. And so that three gigawatt shortage is why you're paying more for your power bills. This is not complicated. If you reduce the supply of something, in this case, reliable power, the price of that thing goes up. And now it, what we're facing in the next 10 years is the real big green chickens coming home to roost. We're facing eight gigawatts That's so it. far of That's coal fired power, double what, it, what, it came, what it. came out in the last decade. And we have no plan from this government no. and as you said, the former government to replace that reliable power. Do you think We've got to get on with that straight away. We should be refurbishing the old ones and building new coal fired power Definitely. stations too. Do you think some are starting to wake up now? You and I spoke a couple of months ago about News Limited, The Australian, all their newspapers, they were as woke as everybody else. They were into the net zero camp uh, overwhelmingly. They editorialised it. They did front page covers of it all. But an editorial in today's Australian now refers to what you and I have been saying for years. We would need 60 million mm. solar panels on roofs between now and 2030, as much as we've done in the past 10 years. And we need 40 wind turbines a month, more than a wind turbine a day. Uh, what do you say to that? Exactly, yep. Well, I think people are waking up. They're also waking up because of what's going on in Europe. And this is not just an energy crisis. Uh, this won't just play out as, as people uh, having to pay more for their power bills, as, as hard as that will be. What will happen if we do uh, allow this energy crisis to build is that not long after that we'll have a fiscal crisis. Because what's happened in the UK uh, is not... Uh, be, is not because of tax cuts that Liz Trust proposed. The bigger cost in her mini budget the other week Energy uh, subsidies. was yep. the subsidy mm. of power bills. And mm. that was because of this net zero madness. Yep. That was going to bankrupt the UK. And so the new chancellors come in and said, well, we're not subsidising bills after April next year. That's calmed the bond markets for a while. But I don't know how they're going to still have a democracy in a country where and expect people to pay $10,000 Australian a year in the UK after April for their power bills, that's not going to really work. Mm. So something is going to break. That's what we're facing if we keep going Definitely. down this path. And, yeah. and keep in mind that we're talking about the country here, the UK, that has not, it's the safest country in the world, not defaulted since the 1300s. Uh, they've lived through Napoleon, the Kaiser, Hitler, or they all couldn't destroy the, the, the good name and quality uh, and credit of the UK bond market. But where those dictators failed, Greta Thunberg is, looks like she's going to succeed. Mm.